Earth isn't the only place for us. We're going to continue to take mankind beyond Earth to Mars, leave the solar system, and continue to, to spread humankind across the galaxy. I think our imagination was just like Christopher Columbus's and all of the great explorers to grow a new economy, to grow a new way of life. That's kind of the stimulus that drives uh, that kind of growth. It's still part of our DNA. If there's something that has changed your life from a space shuttle mission, it's almost certainly because of something we did on one of the Space Lab missions. So there are a lot of things that we don't recognize. Um, so many technologies that are in our homes and that we use daily that have come from the space program. Whether it's medical or material science, whatever it is, that's where the science is being done to allow us to make the next advances. I sincerely hope that we are not alone, and I can't imagine that we are alone. We now know virtually every star that we can see well enough to measure anything. It looks like there's planets everywhere. For me to say that of all those stars, that none of them have planets to support life, that life has not started, would be silly. It's a given in my mind that, that we are not alone. We've got to stop asking the question if we're alone or not. It's only a matter of time till we go back to the moon. We need to have depot points where we can service vehicles and have an infrastructure that then crosses the chasm between Earth and the moon, almost like a planetary train system. I think over time we have to colonize. Um, as our population and our Earth becomes denser in, in numbers, we're going to have to eventually find a way to leave the planet exploring new lands and new civilizations where we can grow. Fusion, if it can be done small enough and you use it to drive ion engines, you, you could envision space travel where now you have unlimited sources to allow you to accelerate toward Mars. Mars has been used in a variety of ways to tell us about what we can anticipate about the Earth. There's going to be first research on Mars. There's going to be people living and working on Mars, just as it is to think about them living and working in Antarctica. But for now, we're just wanting to go explore and find out what's out there and then get to the, the moons around the Jovian planets. There's so many tremendously interesting things. I think we'll keep our young people busy for a good while. <laughs>